Oh, hey man. Didn't hear you come in. Check this out. The Carnales were the first organized gang in the city. The way Julius tells it, they own the whole damn town until Benjamin King stepped up against them. Tell you what though, I ain't worried about their history so much as I am the fact that A, the Lopez brothers are crazy motherfuckers, and B, Victor, their enforcer, survived a dozen VK drive-bys. Sounds pretty bad, right? Now add in that the Carnales are backed by the largest drug cartel in the world, and I think you'll understand why we're gonna play this safe instead of pulling a Johnny. We cut off their income first, then we go for Hector. Sound good? That was a rhetorical question, but thanks for your support. What if we came from here and here? No, they'd just see it coming. Cops try that shit all the time and it never works. Shit, you're right. 
Well, what should we do then? Well, we could... Hey, you might want to hear this. I, I got a lead on where the Los Canales cut all their shit. The Canales. What? Rio Grande River. Jesus. What the fuck? It's not the Los Carnales, it's just the Carnales. Los means... Fuck it. Like I was saying, we're not gonna raid the factory quite yet. Why not? Because I'm not a gun-toting psychopath named Johnny Gat. Fair enough, so what's the plan? One of my boys called and said they saw a truck with a heavy LC escort leaving the factory district. It's probably loaded with drugs, but that's just a bonus. Our target is the truck itself. I need it brought back to the row in one piece. It's no good to us blown to shit. What do you need the truck for? Let's just get the truck first, and then I'll tell you the rest of the plan. I'm just saying it would be nice to know. Shit, Troy. What's with all the questions? Why can't you be like my man over here? Look, Dex. Could you go get that truck? See? Was that so hard? You heard Dex. Let's get that truck. All right, here's the plan. Get me to the truck so I can jack that baby. Once I'm in, make sure I make it back to the row in one piece. Yo, man, just between you and me, I was fine with cleaning out the row. But getting into this drug shit ain't cool, all right? Someone should talk some sense into Julius. I know Lopez. Once we steal from him, he ain't gonna back off until we're dead, or he is. Shit off right before a cop sees that. You think you can fuck with us? Alright, there's the truck. Cover me while I get that heap running. I knew I should have paid attention when they were teaching hot wiring. Alright, alright, this should be the right wire. Or maybe not. I missed my calling. Okay, I got the truck started. Let's get back to the road.
still want her offered jobs and listen to style and the enemy of the nation. My how times have changed. Hey, Davies Nick McGee here. Uh, a friendly fire. I'm a big fan of war. If you've seen me in Fuck the Nazis and Fuck the Nazis too, this comes as no surprise. And the history of friendly fire is simply fascinating. From that hundred beginnings, showing revolvers out of the trunks of their cars, the patriots behind friendly fire have always had one goal in mind. Arm the world. Throughout history, wars, civil unrest, jihads, coup d'etat, or today's gang warfare, no matter who wins, friendly fire's there to pick the loser up, dust them off, and sell them a larger weapon. From the largest army to the individual gang member, Friendly Fire has the firepower you need. Their motto has never been more true than it is today. What do you think Friendly you're doing? Fire. Cause it's fucking crazy out there. Indie rock all the time. Still what is the truck Dex wanted. Now all we gotta do is figure out what the hell he needed it for. Angelo, I need you to go to the lab tonight. One of our shipments didn't arrive, and I want to make sure no one's skimming off the top. No problem. Angelo, you promised we'd go shopping tonight. Ah, shit. Mira, Hector. Hey, I told Luce I'd take her downtown. Can Victor take care of- Is Victor sitting at the table, Angelo? Yes. So if I wanted Victor to handle it, I could have asked him, right? Luce. We'll go out tomorrow. But Angelo... Coño, Luz! Cállate la boca, okay? No me oíste? Gracias. You should be nicer to the lady. Oye, Angelo, métete la verga en su boca. Eso la callará. <laughs> Vete el carajo. Mira, Luz, come on, mama. Don't be so sensitive. I'll be inside. Señorita, a moment. If Angelo is busy, I can take you out tonight. Mr. Orejuela... I couldn't. Nonsense. It would be my pleasure. Unless you have a problem with me entertaining the lady. No, of course not. Good. I'll see you at eight. That's a lot of woman you got there, Angelo. I know. Eh, I always thought she was a bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Si. Sí. Que pasa? Pero qué pasó? What is it? Coño, ese cabrón hijo de puta! That didn't sound encouraging. Everything is fine. Of course it is. If you would excuse me, I'm going to check on the señorita. Ese viejo sucio maricón, yo le mato si le toca luz. Angelo, you are my brother and I love you. But if you let your dick fuck things up with the Colombians, I'm gonna cut it off. Forgive me, Hector. Don't let it happen again. ¿Y qué fue eso? Those pendejos in St. Rowe are the ones who took the shipment. With the Colombians arriving, we can't show any weakness. The Colombians are already here. All the more reason to settle this now. Victor, Angelo, gather your men together. It's time to tear St. Rowe apart. <laughs> 